Eagles. All right, so today is the first day of our series of how to create a website for yourself. So I know insurance agents, when they're first starting off, you probably just wanna you know, get the free websites, you just wanna get something up. So this is what we're gonna use card.co for. All right, so let's jump in. Okay, so if we go over to card, remember there's two R's in card, so C-A-R-R-D dot co. Let's head over, okay, so basically, really, it's this is super, super simple. So we're just gonna choose a starting point. If you wanna go through and learn a little bit more, it's just a one-page site that, okay, see, so we're gonna make something pretty similar to this. It's just gonna, we want to show others what, your, what services you're providing with a picture of yourself, you know, to create that connection. Okay, so we're gonna choose a starting point. And so it's next gonna show you just a bunch of templates. So, I mean, this is completely up to you about what you think looks best, what you think, I mean, like, you know, like this, this kind of reminds me of maybe like a photographer, like I feel like that's maybe not your vibe or what you should go with. Um, this one's nice. I mean, it just, it really depends. Um, which one do I want to do? I'm just going to choose one that's relatively simple. This one looks nice. I'll do this one. Okay, so I'm going to press select. Okay, so now it's going to, you know, show you a little bit how to move everything, where to click, um, where to drag and drop elements. Um, go ahead and mess around with that if you want to learn a little bit more, but I'm just going to press OK, got it, because I don't know. I feel like I don't really need to do that right now. Okay, so here is where we're going to insert an image. So I'm going to go and upload. I'm going to try and track down where these pictures of myself are at there they are nice okay so i'll just insert this one cool it looks like you can maybe i thought i thought you could zoom in but you can't okay so i'm gonna press accept okay so there's me at the top my name is not samantha so i'm gonna change that so literally just by clicking that box you can click and open up where you can edit it so i'll put kelsey anderson that's really all you can do. Press done. It'll save it. Okay, so I'm going to type in. Okay, so I'm just going to go with as if I'm an insurance agent. I don't know. Whatever type of insurance agent you are, put that there. Um, I'll, I'm just going to put, put insurance agent. Okay, so next is going to be my about section. So I want to put something in here that, you know, will build a connection and tell, explain my services pretty well. So I'm not going to really go all out and do any of this, but... Um, this is where you would do it. So here's text, just copy or highlight all of this and delete it and then type in whatever you'd like and it'll just insert it right there. Okay, and next is contact. So this is how you want your clients or your prospects to contact you. So I'm not sure what you wanna put here, but maybe you could just say, um, I can't you know, wait to hear from you you know, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so then here, click again. You can type in your address if you want to. If you have a business address, if you have an office, I would put it there. If you don't, don't worry about it. Just put your telephone number. Looks like you can just insert right here. So I'll just put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and it'll just type it in right there. Okay, and so then as you can see, what it did here was now I'll have to type in that same number. So obviously I'm putting in just like a funny number, but the way it has it set up is now it's linked. So when they click this link, it'll automatically like throw up either, it'll ask them before and they have to say, okay, and then it'll, they'll be able to call. But you've probably seen this too when you've been doing you know your own researching, trying to find something or like a restaurant to like make a reservation, I don't know. But when they click, it'll instantly call you. So that's super cool. Literally, they don't have to, you know, go through and like, okay, swipe back through my, you know, my windows, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's super easy, it's just right there. And then same thing for your email address. So mail to, I would put in my email address right here. And looks like this is where it actually, Okay, so cool, so right there again, they can click on it and it'll email me right away, super cool. Okay, so also you can edit these, you can put in your social links, I would absolutely do this, especially since you know you might have a lot going on on your Facebook page or maybe you update people. It's just all about creating as many connections as possible. I mean, it's not, you're probably not gonna pull a lot of clients from Instagram or honestly, I don't even know what GitHub is, um, but you know, like you still wanna have it there just in case, just in case that one, 
you know, client always is on Instagram. Like you, you want to catch some, you want to catch them there. Okay. So let's just press done. And honestly, that's about all you can do with this. And okay. And honestly, I'm just seeing this now because I've never actually used like this specific template when I've made a card um, website before, but looks like, so on here. So I just clicked this area right here and it brought me up here. If you go to home, you see the label. So like I, if I change this, it's going to change it up there. See, it's not home anymore, but I'll, I'll keep it home. So what you could do if you want to get a little bit more advanced with this is you could create a separate card, you know, website and link it here. That's, it's really not necessary because hopefully you can just get all of your information in this one page. And sometimes people, you know, don't want to click to other pages anyway. Um, but also you can see there's an about and there's a contact. So, um, with these, you'll see that they're locked. And this is because you don't have Card Pro. And honestly, you really don't need Card Pro. Again, this is a free option and this is why we're explaining it to you. It's, it's a good website, but there's a lot of limitations. We're also gonna show you how to use ClickFunnels, uh, WordPress, and Wix. And so those ones will have a little bit more advanced options. This is just kind of like a basic one if you're really eager to get something up. Okay, so I'm just gonna press done. And really that concludes all I need to do on my website and what to fill out. Like I said, I had just like funny stuff put into here, but put whatever you want to tell the, the viewer when they're, when they get to your website, tell, explain here what you would do when you called somebody, but just with a little bit more connection, you want to make connections. That's what everything is about. Okay. So next what we want to do is you want to over here, you see in the top right, go to this little, I don't even know what that is, like a little card thing, but it says publish this site. So that's what our next step is to publish the site. So I'm gonna click. Okay, and so now you see that we cannot publish without an account. And like I said, this is free, so you're all good. All you have to do is just type in your name, your email, if I can type in, get a password in there. Okay, and another thing too is maybe if you've used this before, you'll see that it tells me it's available. So if for some reason you've actually used card or your email is not available, I don't know, that's super weird. Um, you'll have to use a different one, obviously. Um, so type in your passwords. Did I put in the wrong? Did I not match or what's going on here? It's probably it. I do that quite often. Seriously? Or maybe it doesn't like my password. Sorry guys, this is stupid. Okay, my mate happy. Okay, so the title. So put whatever you want in here, but maybe I would wanna put my business title, um, like, you know, Kelsey Anderson Insurance. Make this your own, guys, whatever you feel. Um, description, it's my website. Okay. And so next is your URL. So what I'm gonna suggest you do if you don't have a domain already is to just use one of the card, like just use a card URL because it's free, it's easy. Um, hopefully you're just plugging this in like on your Facebook group or you know your Facebook page or group or whatever you got. Um, so right here, let's just say I'll put Kelsey Anderson Insurance. See if this is available, I'm sure it is. Maybe it's not. Okay, so that's available. So this is what my URL is gonna look like if you see. So kelseyandersoninsurance.card.co. Doesn't really matter, I mean, unless you already have your own domain. And if you already have your own domain and you are wanting to click here and figure this out, you'll have to use pro, but if you're really wanting to use that domain, comment domain in the comments and I will help you out with that. Okay, so I'm gonna press publish because I'm ready to go. Wait, wait, wait. My computer is gonna die, that's not good. Okay, so now it's asking you to check your email. So you're almost done, check your email and click the verification link we just sent to verify your account. So that's what you'll have to do next is go over to your email, verify it, and then after that you are ready to go. And I'll just show you what that looks like really quick. I like don't ever log into this email. It's like one that I created when I was like a freshman in college and then don't really use because I don't really use Hotmail. Okay, 
perfect, but when it happens. Okay, let's see if this is easy to find. With all, okay, perfect. So check your junk, cause that's your junk email, cause that's probably where it's gonna be. I feel like that's where it always ends up for me. Um, okay, so right here, so all you have to do is click this link to verify your account and then it'll bring you right back and it'll say done, all set, your site has been published and okay, cool. So I'm gonna press view site because I just wanna make sure everything's all, all good. Okay, so look at that. Honestly, that looks pretty fresh. Love it. Oh, guys, okay, so now this is where your about will go. I see, I did not know I'm learning with you. Um, if you, so home, is just gonna be like Kelsey Anderson and then who you are with your social links right here. And then when you press about, that's where it'll tell them about who you are, what you do, what services you provide, etc. And then here's your contact where it'll tell them, I can't wait to hear from you. Here's my address, my phone number, my email. Super cool. I actually like really like this style. Super cool. Okay, but yeah, that on um, that concludes that. It's super simple. It's free. And like I said, this is the first video of the series. We're gonna teach you how to use ClickFunnels, Wix, WordPress. So we got three more, maybe even another one if I find one that I wanna share with you. But those are the three main ones that I use. Um, so guys, if you liked it, please help me out and press the like button. I need to figure out which way to point because it'll look a lot cooler if I point and then it's right underneath it, but I don't really know. So like it, if you really, really liked it and you want to see more, like I said, this is the first of the series. So you don't want to miss the next ones. Click subscribe. And that way you just know when all of our videos come out. Um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for tuning in. See you later.